Titans won a thriller over the Chargers. We've never seen an ending like that at Nissan Stadium. So what I'm wondering is, where were you when it was all going down at the end, and how quickly did you know what had actually happened? Yeah, wild, wild innings, certainly putting it, it, it mildly. A lot went on there at the end of the football game. Uh, I was in the booth. I didn't have a great view of, of the play live. I was watching you know, the video boards when, when it went to replay and was waiting anxiously. I think for me, when I realized we had won the game is when I saw Phillip Rivers kind of popped his helmet off was, and was congratulating our defense. You know, it, it was very settling to think that we had, we had pulled it off. A little later in the program, we're going to hear from Jeffrey Simmons, and he had a pretty special debut. After sitting and watching the tape, what made it so special? Well, I think for him it was, um, and, and watching him, we saw the player that we had scouted at, at Mississippi State. The confidence that he had to go out there when called upon, whether it was a run play or a pass play. He went out there and he executed the call and, 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 he, and he didn't hold anything back. Yeah, Jeffrey did an outstanding job. You got a lot of production from your rookie class, your draft picks. Uh, are they starting to find their way with this football team? Yeah, I think, you know, we touched on Jeffrey, but we're about midway through the season. AJ has made some big plays for us, continues to, to work on the, the details. I thought one of the more impressive plays he had was a block that he actually made uh, in the Derrick Henry run. He, he, he didn't hold the guy, he shielded the guy, held him off long enough. It's the details of plays like that that can really make those guys improve. Nate Davis got off to a really good start before an injury. Amani Hooker has really, you know, helped us in sub defense. And probably one of the unseen things was Sunday in the game on the fake punt, he was the wing. And he did a great job with his release. He shielded the guy close enough to Kevin to give Kevin just enough time to get the first down. And then David Long, you know, really showed up and played some plays for us uh, Sunday defensively. He's been a, you know, kind of a mainstay in the kicking game and had a big play on the screen Sunday. Also getting a lot of action for Wesley Woodyard, who played in place of Jayon Brown. He had seven tackles and caused the fumble that won the Titans the game. How is he able to continue playing at such a high level? Well, I mean, he's, he's seen a lot in his 11 years playing the game. I, I think it's his daily approach to being a pro. Whatever's asked of him, whether he goes in there as a starter, whether he comes in as a sub, uh, whether he plays on the kickoff, on the punt, whatever's asked of him, his attitude and his demeanor and trying to help the team win on a daily basis, is, it's paramount. John, Derrick Henry just keeps on rolling. What is it about his preparation or his attention to detail or anything else that has allowed him to be so consistent in this his fourth NFL season? Well, I think it starts with his attitude at practice every day. He's a guy that brings juice to practice. Um, he's excited to get out there with, it, with his teammates. And then just looking at his skills, I think he's done a really good job of lowering his pad level when he goes through the line of scrimmage. A, it gives him more power, and B, it gives the, the defense less surface area to hit. And he's really made some explosive plays for us in the passing game, you know, which kind of keep, keeps defenses guessing on how we're going to utilize him. Tampa Bay's coming into Nissan Stadium this week. They're coming off of a bye. So what can you tell us about that team? Yeah, you know, Coach Arians and Jason Light, obviously I was there for, for two years with Jason. They're explosive on offense. They really are. They've got playmakers, you know, at the skill positions, whether it's Mike Evans, Godwin, uh, O.J. Howard, Cam Brait. You know, they're really good at, at throwing the football downfield and trying to stretch you and attack you that way. And defensively, they're number one against the run. You know, they're, they're tough up front. They've got a really good front seven with Via, with Sue, Shaq Barrett, who came over in free agency, has made an impact, you know, in his time there. And then their linebackers, Levante David has played a ton of football. He's been to Pro Bowls and, and you know, the top five pick, Devin White. Uh, he continues to run and make plays.